When the fear takes over the mind of a believer, the focus on things of God may be distracted. When issues of life become too undesirable, life seems complicated. You are welcome to the Unlimited Grace Talk series. Today we are looking at how to make God your priority. I believe you will be incredibly blessed at the end of today's series. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 26, For the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. This Bible verse let us know that everything in the world belongs to God. I mean everything including you, your goals, your desire, and so on. Everything belongs to God. Making God a priority is like giving the property back to the owner. God is the creator and founder of the world and everything within it. He knows the beginning from the end. The question is, how can we make God our priority? The book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When you make the kingdom assignment of God a priority, God is going to add whatever things you need for you. The best way to seek Him is by having daily intimacy with God through constant reading God's words and spending quality time in the place of prayer with your God. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have success. Reading the words of God gives you heavenly directions and instructions. Spending your time praying offers access to open your heart to God and express everything you worry about in your life. The book of Psalm chapter 145 verse 18. The Lord is near to all who call on Him. To all who call on Him in truth, God is near to us and He is ready to listen and answer our requests. He gives hope to the hopeless and strengthen the weak and comfort to the oppressed. The Lord is looking on the children of men. The book of Psalm chapter 14 verse 2. The Lord looks down from heaven on the children of men to see if there are any who understand, who seek after God. The Lord is always available to lift us in every situation. Lastly, do not put your trust in men of flesh. Always remember, as a human of flesh, we are full of disappointments. Only God is your secured source that will not disappoint or reject you. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 7 and 8 verse 7 But blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. Verse 8 They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. If you have confidence and make God a priority, you will live a life of peace given to us by the Prince of Peace. Make God your priority, and do not let fear affect what you want to do. Remember the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Thank you for listening. And do not forget to follow, like, subscribe, and leave your comments in the section below. Look out for the second part that discusses the two types of fear that may hinder our progress. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.